Climate scientists say this will be the hottest year on record for a second year in a row. It will also exceed a worldwide pledge to keep global warming under 1.5 degrees Celsius. A recent poll found that 74% of Minnesotans want schools to teach about the causes, consequences, and potential solutions. Just this year, Minnesota started requiring high school students to learn about global warming. WCCO's Aaron Hazanzada explains what students are learning and how it can help protect our planet in today's Climate Watch. So we're going to be looking at ecosystems through data analysis today. It's time for class as students stream in to Megan Hall's AP Environmental Science course at Open World Learning in St. Paul. And we're going to work on the introduction now that all this climate shift species stuff is fresh in your mind. Students are writing lab reports after some field work at nearby Crosby Farm Regional Park and Gooseberry Falls State Park. How many of you noticed disturbance in either of the forests that that you visited. So it was kind of nice to go out in nature. It was very quiet. Um, we kind of just took some data from the forest and now we're using it to write these lab reports. Uh, we were talking about how because of climate change, the biomes in Minnesota are slowly moving north. Climate change concepts may not be new to these students, but the fact their teachers must teach it, that's a change in state science standards. So that essentially means that all students in Minnesota in four years when they graduate high school will have learned about the scientific details explaining how climate change works, what its impacts are. There's been scientific consensus for decades that human activity, like the burning of fossil fuels, causes global warming. Those changes are apparent outside of the classroom. In Minnesota alone, students are living through recent droughts, more intense severe weather, and rapidly warming lakes. Some teachers we spoke with say they appreciate support from lawmakers, especially if parents push back against it. We can point to those standards now and, and say that this is something all Minnesota uh, students are going to learn. Chad Benish teaches chemistry and physical science at Cook County High School on the North Shore. The new standards are more than just about content. It's about helping students to act like scientists, to do the things that scientists do. He and other teachers say learning this stuff sets students up for careers in a green economy, but they also hope it'll inspire students to come up with solutions for our rapidly warming world. When we understand the science, when we use the technologies at our disposal, and when we have the will to do so, we can change this. We don't have to keep going on this path. We can make it better. I think it's not hopeless. I mean, I definitely think there's things that we can do to try to combat these effects. I mean, it's kind of scary, but it's, it's good to be aware of this, you know, try and help. I have definitely learned to, you know, this is my home. This is where I live. I should take care of it. Aaron Hassanzada, WCCO News. Here's a sign of what many call the impact of global warming. Hikers are getting a view of Japan's famous Mount Fuji, but it's standing tall without its iconic snow cap. Usually the 12,000 foot high mountain has sprinkles of snow falling on its summit starting in October. 